uh, SRH now, uh, how have they done? Well, they picked up Harshal Patel, uh, the most expensive uh, Indian player at this auction for just under 12 uh, CR it was. Uh, let's take a look at uh, the Sunrises Hyderabad uh, squad, shall we, to see what they picked in this auction. Um, Harshal Patel's in fact with Punjab King, sorry. Yeah. It's, been, it's been such a mix. Jayadev Unarkat was picked. Travis Head, uh, Hasaranga, your favourite player, Joy, went to the Sunrises Hyderabad. That's what I'm saying. They started fantastic. Hasaranga at 1.5, Travis Head at 6.8. Absolutely fantastic. Pat Cummins there, but 20 is a huge number. And I think the one thing we are all looking at and saying is, who are the international? Who are the four they're going to play? And let me tell you one thing, no matter what anyone tells you, yeah. having eight international players, all of whom think they're good enough to play, is not an easy situation to handle. I've been there, mm. it's not an easy situation to handle. All these players are stars. I'll be very interested in seeing who's going to sit out. Right. Let's now get uh, the son of the favourite son of Hy <laughs> uh, Hyderabad, uh, Mr. Bhogli, to tell us how what he made of uh, SRH's performance at the auction. Zabardas Dawat hai. There is a spread, but only one stomach. <laughs> there is a whole spread there. Now look at this team if you go... Sir, there. they have two stomachs, sir. They have paid comments also. Okay, please get uh, out. Editor? Officer, yes, please. Cut. Please take him off. Join. Sir. Take a little still. Join back. Good Lord. Markram is captain. He will play. Klaassen is the only wicket keeper. There is but one wicket keeper in that team. Klaassen has to play. It's the same issue with Gujarat Titans. They have, Saha must play. There is no other wicket keeper. So Klaassen must play. Cummins must play. If head plays, one of Agarwal, Abhishek, Sharma, Tripathi has to go. Right? So where do you play Hasaranga? Where do you play Marco Janssen? So they will come back to one overseas quick and three, two or three Indian quicks. Luckily, Bhuvi is an evergreen player at this level. Yep. Bhuvi will always have a good IPL. They are hoping Natarajan has a good IPL. Then Bhuvi, Natarajan and uh, Cummins. Yep. And then they will play Washington Sundar, maybe Shahbaz. Some days if they want, if they have to play Hasaranga, then head goes out. Mm. So it's head or Hasaranga has got to play. I think they had a phenomenal player in Phillips. They've got to wonder. They've got far too many good players sitting there on that bench. And like last year, they've got a team that, is, that covers all bases, has outstanding players for every situation. How will they manage that side? Do you see them trading out a couple of players? Because there's Farooqi, there's Glenn Phillips, there's Marco Janssen who may not get a look in. Uh, they could just be touring all across the either. The question part. you have is, who are they going to trade to? See, right now you can't Correct. release this. Who are you going to trade to? So you need people who want the players you're going to give up. In a, they, who's it, going to take yeah. them? In a marketplace, there's a buyer and a seller. seller. Yeah. So you need a buyer. Who are they going to release to? Let's take a look, very briefly if it's possible, on the teams with the number of overseas players that they have and the number of Indian players that they have, the first graphic that, that we put up, and to see whether there is someone, look at the overseas slots there. Not a single overseas slot. So they'll have to do a overseas player to overseas player swap. Yep. Is anyone doing that swap? Yeah, to find a like for like. Like for like, it's a bit tricky. Is yeah. there a spinner, for example? Can they say, okay, We'll give Hasaranga back to RCB, not... No chance. No chance at all. So, there isn't scope. So, it'll come back to the seven India players. And the seven India players, Agarwal, Abhishek, Sharma, Tripathi, Washington, Sundar, Shahbaz, and then the three fast bowlers. Hmm. So, it's, it's a team that's not going to look too different from last year other than Cummins. Yeah. They, because the rest, all the rest of the firepower they bought, they just can't afford to play for their balance. Given their balance. So it looks very good. But in Jaisa Mai Subhe Bola, Indian Saath, Overseas Char. Ulta hoi toh zavartas team rehti hai. Imported team lag rhi, sir. Bilkul, full imported dhik rhi. Chamakti Shavarle team pala hai. Pat Cummins, 20 crores plus. Uh, were you surprised? That was the first big buy at the auction today. I am surprised. I am surprised. Yes, he can hit a long ball. 
But if you see, he he is a smart player. He's an intelligent player. He plays the situation. He can bat 12 off 68. You know when Maxwell's going crazy at the other end, he can hit a long ball. Has hit a 14 ball 50 for I think KKR at some point in time. Yeah. The point of it is that he again is not the greatest bowler up front, and he's not the greatest death T20 bowler at this point in his career. Yeah. I think he can still, he could probably become a better bowler up front than he is now because I think he's just a matter of trusting himself yeah. more, not going cross him so early. But the point of it is that if he's not going to give you too much the death, then that price tag is, for a price tag like 20 crores, you need a either a three format player, that means yeah. bats, bowls and does everything for you, which he is to a certain extent, but you also need him to then bowl well at the death. If I have a 20 crore player, I want him to bowl in the power play and at the death. Yes, exactly. And I don't think that is his strength. Uh, he's, a, he's a wonderful cricketer. Yeah. But I don't think that is his strength at this stage, as some other teams have found out. So who is going to bowl for them at the death? They've got to go back to Bhuvi and Natarajan. Yep. At the death. I don't think there's another death bowler. Yeah. They've got to go back to Bhuvi and Natarajan because Faruqi and Janssen don't make your 11. And so, uh, not judging the team, just judge the team on, on the performance at the auction from who they bought today. I'd still say 3.5 because they got some players. Which, I mean, Hasaranga at 1.5, even if he plays three, four matches for them, is a steal. You have the Indian, un, uncapped Indian subs who are not going to play a single game, who are going to be... Hasaranga sitting as a potent weapon in your backyard is something that is incredible. So, I'll still say 3.5, but I think it's... It has talent, but it lacks balance. Yeah. I'm actually, given that they needed Indian players, they've gone and shopped for overseas players. I'm going to three, three and a half, actually. For an auction, for a team, on paper, it's a four, 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 four 4.2 out of five team. Mm. But it was last year, too. Exactly. So the challenge this year for Sunrisers is exactly the challenge they had last year. Mm. What is the sum of the parts? Mm. Is the sum of the parts greater than the whole? Sunrisers are coming and challenging every other team. They should make the playoffs. If the sum of the parts is not equal to the whole, then that will be another disappointing year for them. Yes, they finished at uh, number 10 on the points table uh, the last time. I'll just say one other thing about the fast bowlers that I said earlier. All the Indian fast bowlers are on a slight downward curve. Yeah. Bhuvi is a very, very good player. Bhuvi is a wow player. Bhuvi is one of the IPL legends. Yeah. But is he looking up or has he just turned the corner? Umran Malik has stagnated. Natarajan isn't doing as well in, in recent times. Yeah. So who, uh, who is their enforcer? Who is their bowler who's... Yeah. Bhuvi of 16-17. We, we forget Bhuvi of 16-17-18 was one of the great performance in the history of the IPL. Yeah. Who is that bowler? So they've got to go back and hope for the Bhuvi of 16-17 in 24. Oh. That is still the problem.